Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and tonight's twin bill of movies filled with jazz. We just had Kirk Douglas on the trumpet and Young Man with a Horn. Up next, we head down to the birthplace of jazz, the Big Easy, the Crescent City, Nolens, or as my mother called it, New Orleans. From United Artists in 1947, the title is simply the name of the town, New Orleans. The story begins in 1917. Arturo de Cordova stars as the owner of a swanky gambling den on Basin Street. His romantic interest is played by Dorothy Patrick. She is a classically trained singer who gets hip to the new jazz sounds, much to the dismay of her uptight parents. Honestly, though, the plot is not the draw here. The wall-to-wall music is, along with the giants who perform. They're the real stars. For example, the Cordova has an up-and-coming trumpetist playing in his basement club. It's Louis Armstrong playing a guy nicknamed Satchmo, which, of course, was Armstrong's nickname. He gets the chance to perform with a housekeeper capable of carrying a tune. She's played by Billie Holiday. New Orleans is Holiday's one and only feature, so this film provides a rare opportunity to see Holiday perform a handful of memorable songs, including Do You Know What It Means to Miss New Orleans? And The Blues Are Brewing. The film also features big band leader Woody Herman and Mead Lux Lewis, who bangs out his signature tune, Honky Tonk Train Blues. Early drafts of New Orleans were centered on Armstrong and Holiday, but their characters became less and less central to the story as the more conventional romance plot became the focus, which was probably the wrong plan. The movie is directed by Arthur Lubin, who had been behind the camera for many of Abbott and Costello's funniest pictures. Lubin soon turned his talents toward knocking out no less than six movies in five years, starring Francis the Talking Mule, who, by the way, loved jazz. Released by United Artists in 1947, this is New Orleans. Louis Armstrong took an unlikely path on his way to becoming a movie star. By the time he appeared in New Orleans, the pioneering jazz artist had 10 features under his belt. Billie Holiday had only one significant film appearance in the 1935 short Symphony in Black. Holiday was hesitant to play a servant in New Orleans. There weren't many parts outside of domestic service roles available to young black women of the era. Holiday couldn't pass up the opportunity to appear in a mainstream movie. I'll be playing a maid, she told jazz journalist Leonard Feather, but she's a really cute maid. Holiday's tragic life inspired a couple of significant movies, including Lady Sings the Blues from 1972 with Diana Ross and Billy Dee Williams, as well as the 2021 drama The United States vs. Billy Holiday, starring Andra Day as Holiday. Day earned a Best Actress Oscar nomination for her work, and she won the Golden Globe for Best Actress in a Drama. Coming up, Jacqueline Stewart will be here with Silent Sunday Night. She'll have the story of a wealthy woman who must decide if she's willing to give up her extravagant life to be with the man she loves. The Circle from 1925 is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, The Circle, then All My Good Countrymen. And later, courage for every day. TCM has the heart of a lion tonight. 